the um, Nordic militant is uh, real. They may not actually be. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, so we got Albion, fight and conquer, and diversify production. So the objectives aren't bad. Television programming. Yeah, a lot of times people seem to be AFK for whatever reason. So Nordic militant is actually not that bad. What I like to do for it is make eight workers, try to get as close to possible as getting all my um, metal and food out of one produce, and then go get a factory card and go from there. Okay, we're we're all just clustered up here in this corner of the board, aren't we? All right, what are we gonna do here? Nordic went and got on the village and the. Uh... Okay, Nordic's industrial. I don't envy him for that. Polani is patriotic. I'll be nice and take not take Albion's village. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's also not healthy for you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go the. Let's go this route. Trade the two metal. Reduce to get the third metal. We'll bolster to get the mech. And then it will get rally. And then we'll move to the village and bring our character in one. All in one move. See how that goes for us. Played Albion Mechanical a lot, Rail. I, how do I say that anyway? Rail X? Rail. Like rail. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah, we'll have to talk Albion sometime. I have far fewer games on Albion than I do the other factions. Always looking to learn at this game. All right, Polani's got two workers on wood up here. And they've got the patriotic board, which is kind of interesting. They're trying to get out of here as soon as possible, it looks like. It's probably good that we've got rally, because otherwise we're going to get beat to that encounter. At least there's a good chance of it. Sending back all your workers to home base, of course. What Mac Nordic went seaworthy. Which doesn't do that particular mech any good, but I imagine he's gonna put another one right here. So Polani is going to this space, right? Yeah. Let's go here to make sure we can get this encounter, right? Because that's what they're coming for. I'm not 100% convinced right now we can win a fight with them, but we'll see what we get for it. Um,
Delicious combat card or recruit encounter. I know, right? Uh, but just one pop and a combat card. We're going to do this. Nordic's pumping out those uh, mechs over there. That'll give us the two combat cards we need. Um, oh, look, they're good. So, good shape there. If you're watching on YouTube right now, there are three other people watching over here on um, Twitch. So that's where the that's where the chat comments on the screen are coming from, by and large. It'll sh the YouTube chat comments will show up on the screen too. Just only one of you over there. All right. Kalani is not happy. They wanted this. They didn't get it. All right, so what are we doing for this interim turn? Because we're not going to get a bottom row action. So we can get two resources of our choice, or we can produce. So what would we get if we got two of our choice? Um, Scott, I was in the lobby earlier. Wonder if you were going to be streaming. Must have just missed you. Must have, man. Uh, You know what, guys? I got all distracted and I didn't place a flag. That is that is unfortunate. Is it's always after that encounter too? You get the encounter. You don't get to place the flag. You get to thinking about the encounter, and then then it comes back, and I forget the totally forget the flag. That's really good for Industrial Nordic because it's so hard to come by those combat cards. Let's see if he goes for that. <laughs> Rail, I guess you better move four more times. Set the flags further. I guess so, right? Yeah, he went to pop and, and went for the combat cards. I think that's the right play. Well, Ani is mad at me. You gonna come after me? Scott, yep, I forget to add the flag after encounter all the time. Yep. That, I, I think it's a silly rule. It's, it's like you can place a flag right after you move in just about every circumstance, unless there's an encounter. Like, what is the, what's the game mechanic reason for not being able to drop flag immediately when it's an encounter space like I just I don't get it Let's get encounter number two. And let's not forget to drop the flag this time, right? Flag, flag, flag. Um, yes, please. Probably not winning at this point. Well, okay, we're up by a coin. Let's 
So what are we going to do here? We can produce. We want to get to four workers, five workers, so we can move four over to for this enlist. So we want to produce this turn. The produce is going to get us to two oil and two workers. Rail, I like that chat is much faster here than on YouTube, by the way. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I, I like Twitch. Um, so you cannot link your Twitch in YouTube anymore. So if you're going to convert Twitch to YouTube videos, you actually would have to download your Twitch streams, cut them, and then upload them back up to YouTube, which would be a royal pain. But what you can do is with this service I'm using right now, you can stream to both. So that's what I'm doing. Nordic's got the speed and seaworthy. It's reassuring you're doing okay now. All right. Nordic's going to get his factory card. So we produced, right? If we... So close. If we had one more food, we could trade and get an oil and a food. Oh no, it's going to work. Okay, this is, I like this. I like this a lot. I'll show you what I'm talking about. What we're going to do is we're going to trade for an oil. It gets us to three oil for an upgrade and a food, which gets us to three food. Then we're going to upgrade our movement action because it's awesome when you're Albion. And we're going to upgrade the enlist. And we've got three food sitting in the ground. So when we go to five workers, we'll get our second enlist. And it also means that when we move off of the, off of the farm right here, onto the, off of the village, onto the farm, we can leave a worker behind and claim continue to claim that double flag space and we already have a, a worker there to try to get the worker star later. So that's going to synergize and work well. I'm sure Nordic's up sitting on the factory there. It's more spread out than us. Food and a popularity for Polania. Worker and any two resources down here. See, I, I don't like this one space at a time without the speed mac Polania. It's just, it goes really slowly. Here we go. Well, poached egg trout. What's what's your name on the game? I know I know you. You want to see the the notification I made? Throw me a follow real quick. Dan Real, that's right. Hey Dan Real. All right. Stealing Polania's mainland encounter. How about that? Gonna get power. Probably get to the power star as a result.
<laughs> Maybe. Let's see here. I'm going to produce this turn. And we did our little fancy thing with the, the upgrade, so... Lonnie is on food. Nordic's probably not going to enlist. But he's building buildings. Um. I may regret that, but I'm going to go power and list next. So... I think we might go for another upgrade and upgrade the bolster and the deploy which is why I went here because I think I'm going to go for an upgrade and the reason for that is if I move to food now say move this worker up here and then send this guy up here the seaworthy mech can run over here and attack me he's got more power than me and slightly more combat cards so I don't want to lose that metal maybe I'm being a little over cautious here but Lonnie is sitting on a lot of resources. Nordic could definitely go after those. Another mech. There's artillery. Nordic is churning out these mechs. Let's make our let's make our shield mech. Let's put it here. This will work out well. Next turn we'll move this guy and the worker to here. We'll move the character to here, and we'll move this guy and three workers over to here. So what happens next turn after that? We produce, we get an enlist. Now instead of two metal, we have three. So we bolster and get mech number three. Then we produce again, get enlist number four, and now we have two metal, so we bolster and get mech number four. So we're looking at two produces and two bolsters. That's four power. That's going to get us to 15. So we're hoping that Nordic drops us an upgrade here. I'd like to think it's rail extreme. I like it. Oh, Polani is, Polani is attacking. Surprising. 
Gonna come with two units? He is, and he's gonna leave that food all by itself. The worker. Does that mean this is a bluff? It's an interesting play. Rail round 17-ish end, optimistic. Yeah, I don't know if... I think for this game, I'm probably just looking to catch up and stay ahead. Adam about to get a nice engine going. Although Polani just emptied his, his canister right there. Be nice if we could get to Polania, pick up a star. Nordic is not on metal. He hasn't upgraded his deploy, so it takes him three metal. Does he have an upgraded move? He does not. So the most he can attack with is two units. He only has three combat cards. Man, I wish I could attack Polania right now and take that wood. Nordic move next turn? He can. He's just going to take it right back from Polania. I don't know what he was thinking. Um, okay, one. Two moves. Place a flag. Three moves. I like it. Our combat cards are almost certainly better than Nordic's. We've got shield too, so... So what if I skip the produce and I just go ahead and bolster and make the mech? Then I produce... And I get an enlist. Then I'd have to do something else, like a trade or a move. But no, I still need a... I still need the second produce before I can get the bolster. So we're just gonna hope somebody doesn't upgrade here. See, and his, his move is over his build, so he's going to take it back, and then he's going <laughs> to immediately build a building with it. I don't know what, I don't know what Polani was doing. All right, Rail, I'll catch you later, man. I mean, if worse comes to worse, we could always get ourselves a uh, get ourselves a up another upgrade that would give us the last power. Or we could just bolster again. We have to spin the turn. How are we doing now? We're right there. What is Polania going to do? Build another building. Polani gonna get any more enlists? I mean, we're gonna get one, so I guess we'll just have to hope, right? Get a third combat card.
Nordic's gonna go for another encounter. Use the factory card. I mean, the factory card is certainly keeping his coin on par with mine, which has him ahead right now. He's two buildings away from the build star. He's one mech away from the... Uh, from that star. Thanks for the follow, Wingspan. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Poach Trout. Dan Real. Wingspan. Love this game. Haven't played in forever. Yeah, man, I, I think this has got to be the greatest game in the world. So the Wingspan, is that after the Stonemeyer game? Is that where your username comes from, or is that just a coincidence? Lol. No, aha. I'm tall and I have a long reach, so it's just a coincidence. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe you're a Stone Meyer, Stone Meyer Games fan and went with Wingspan. Right? It's time for Mac number three. Let's go, uh, let's go Sword. Don't really need Burrow right now. All right, so Polonia gave up on us. That's not too surprising. Coach Trout, have you guys played Root? I have not played Root. All right, we're about to pick up our first star and then our second star here. Oh, good, and we get a combat card. Maybe Nordic is going to enlist after all. Are they on food now? Where did, where did he get the food, I wonder? Hmm. I hate that we're going to end up just one power short here. I'm going to have to figure out how to get this power star. Starting to pull away just a little bit right now. Root a pretty good game then. I love the cutesy artwork in Root and the dark subcontext. So it has cutesy artwork and it's dark. Quite the combination. All right, Nordic is spreading out, spreading to the factory at least. Roots a very good, Coach Trout, Roots a very good game, very asymmetrical. Each faction is very different. If you like Scythe, great chance you would like Root. That makes sense. Factions are definitely asymmetrical in this game. Let's go Burrow, and Ursels, Ursels right here. Nordic got a nice little bump there when they took the factory, that worker.
Nordic's got artillery, right? Um, Nordic can move next turn. We're going to live a little dangerously here, and it pays off. Wingspan, what do you think separates beginner from intermediate player? Like I saw a video recently that said buildings aren't very good to get, but I'm always building at least a mill. Um, So I think there's a, a few things that I'd say. Um, with any strategy game, you've got to get to the point where you're thinking about the game abstractly, right? And I think the, the, the beginner player, like I always win in my friend group, but I find it hard to find better plays. So... The way I kind of look at it is the beginner player just kind of says, okay, I want to do this, so I'm going to move toward it. I'm going to do it. The intermediate player starts to say, well, how can I optimize and do a lot of things at once? And I think that's where a lot of the difference comes in. Um, so we got to think about this for a second because Nordic looks like they're going to run out of time. Um, we can't move this turn. We're going to get the Power Star, even though it costs us a turn. And we are potentially two turns away from ending this. Wingspan. Wingspan. I try to set myself up for multiple bottom row actions in a row. Yeah, and the name of this game is Bottom Row Actions. Um, and that's that's what a big part of, of what it's about. Bug skull in general and list and deploy are better bottom row actions. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, is this ability? Yes. You gonna bluff me? You're gonna bluff me, right? No, he's not. He doesn't want me moving onto the factory. Is he gonna end it right here? Can he end it? I don't think he can end it. Can't even use artillery now. And it's going to spread out a little bit. Give me just a second here to catch up on your messages, Wingspan. 
Yeah, I agree that the upgrade star is, is not good to go for in most cases. The industrial mat with Nordic, I usually go for the upgrade star. Um, there's some other combinations I go for the upgrade star. Yeah, we're down to one combat card. We're kind of vulnerable here, but uh, let's see what Nordic does. Can Nordic move? Nordic cannot move. And we're going to produce get two more coin and one more star. So that's five coin next turn. So unless Nordic gets ahead by about seven coin this turn, we should have this game. And we do. All right, that's game. Took us 20 turns, but we pulled off Albion Mechanical. It's close. And we never made it to the factory. Let's queue another one up. 